Welcome back to our exploration of lessons in good trouble. You may have seen some of our other videos that featured some different civil rights movements from, from around the world. Now what I want to do is talk a little bit about the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. And for this lesson, we'll speak with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The Civil Rights Movement in the United States took place mainly in the 1950s and 1960s. Meet me, Rosa Parks, and young John Lewis there to learn about ways we helped to lead millions of Americans in nonviolent protest against segregation. Okay, so let's jump to the U.S. in the 1950s and 1960s, where, just like the other worlds, we are greeted by Congressman John Lewis. My friend and mentor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. embodied the ideals of causing good trouble by speaking out and leading nonviolent protests when he saw something unjust. He gave his life in pursuit of civil rights and ending racial discrimination. Okay, so let's hear from Dr. King. Hello, dear friend. Like you, John, I grew up in the segregated South, Atlanta, Georgia, and I knew it was my mission to make a difference. I believed in peaceful, nonviolent protests as a way to impact change and end racial discrimination. In 1963, I led the March on Washington, where I delivered the I Have a Dream speech. And speaking of the I Have a Dream speech, one of the great things about some of these worlds is, if your students don't know anything about these particular figures, you can click on these buttons and it will give you more information. So the I Have a Dream speech. I have the pleasure so the I Have a Dream speech can be found when you click that button. Students so can go in and actually watch the archival footage of Dr. King's speech. The other button that you see right here will take students to history.com where they can learn a little bit more about the life of Dr. King. But let's go back to our Minecraft world and let's explore. So again, we're in a typical city that you may see in the segregated South in the 1950s or the 1960s. Some of the details that you'll see in this city are these plaques right over here that symbolize that segregation by saying white only, whites only, over here and over here. And then this is a restaurant and one of the things that you'll notice is right over here at the counter we have our white citizens over here eating by themselves we have our black citizens on the other side eating by themselves so clearly showing that segregation between races and that's the topic of the activity that students will participate in next in 1960 african-american students in greensboro north carolina staged a sit-in at a segregated lunch counter refusing to leave after being denied service Learn more about the good trouble they caused, and then think about a time you, or a friend, were excluded because of your identity. How did you feel? Write it down with the book and quill. Okay, so we'll do that activity in a second. Again, there is a button that says learn more that will take students to a website where they can learn a little bit more about the famous Greensboro sit-in. There it is. So let's go back to Minecraft, our world, and let's do the activity. Now this is a little bit different than some of the other activities inside this world. We're just going to open the chest and get the book and quill. Go ahead and open the book and quill. For this one, it's basically a writing activity. And so it's would write about a time where themselves or a friend felt excluded sign it at the end and then this part is finished so kind of a little bit of a different activity but definitely a good one and then as you can imagine when you think of u.s civil rights in the 1950s and 1960s and when you see a school bus you will know that inside the bus is going to be rosa parks another major inspiration of mine was rosa parks rosa was instrumental in many things including the montgomery bus boycott which was a significant moment in the civil rights movement. One example of her good trouble was refusing to give up her seat on the bus to a white man on December 1, 1955. 
And now let's hear from Rosa. That's right, John. I planned my good trouble, and even though I lost my job because of it, my case went all the way to the United States Supreme Court, which ruled that bus segregation was unconstitutional. I continued to lead the fight against racial segregation with Dr. King and other leaders like you. And just like some of the other figures that are introduced, you can see at the bottom two buttons, which will then give us more information about the life of Rosa Parks and the bus boycott. So I'm just going to continue right now. You can see this is the design inside the bus. I'm going to jump off the bus and run down the street. Some other things that you'll see right over here. We talked a little bit about some of the segregation earlier in the city. Here is a drinking fountain, which is only for the black citizens of the city that you can see right over there that's been designed. Now this is this design is one of the cooler parts of this particular world. There's a nonviolent protest and we are met by a civil rights activist. In 1965, John Lewis helped to lead a march across this bridge to the state capitol in Montgomery, Alabama. Keep going to join the demonstration and to learn more. So let's check out the demonstration. You can see some of our protesters who took place in this march have signs that they are using. That one said, end police brutality. This one says, we shall overcome. Some other signs over here. We walk for human dignity. I'm just going to cross the street right over here. You can see some other ones, we shall overcome, that kind of thing. And we are now approaching the Edmund Pettus Bridge, where we are going to learn very shortly that a young John Lewis was one of the people that was an organizer of this particular march. You can see straight ahead, we can see some more people. And we see that green beam, which will tell us that we are about to approach a character. I'm just going to run through the crowd, which is pretty cool. Kind of like that. Once I make my way through the crowd, I can see a young John Lewis. On March 7th, 1965 in Selma, Alabama, I helped lead a peaceful march against the state's efforts to deny blacks the right to vote. Hundreds of peaceful protesters were met that day by state troopers who beat us with clubs, attacked us with dogs, and arrested us. This was a defining moment in the civil rights movement and in my own life. And right over here you can see these are the state troopers that, that John Lewis was talking about right over here with their guard dogs and i can just go through them and this essentially is the end of this particular world um, whether this is the first time your students are going to be learning about this or if you teach a little bit about this ahead of time i think this is a real worthwhile part of this world for students to participate in so hopefully this gives you an idea about this type of world for the U.S. Civil Rights Movement in the Minecraft world, Lessons in Good Trouble.